welcome back to another video. So if you can hear the washing machine, it's on, so, or the dishwasher. Anyway, uh, yeah, today I'll be showing my little December bullet journal, you know, maybe some inspo for you guys. So without further ado, let's just get right onto the video. Hello everybody and welcome to this voiceover. Let's start off making this December bullet journal. So I did not end up making a gift spread in this bullet journal because you can actually see it through on the left side. I did it before I started December because I started planning out my gifts early. Yes, I have already bought almost all my gifts or made or whatever, you know, I'm gifting to people this year. Anyway, just a small brag, but uh, I went to paint this paint, I mean draw this kind of little, little um, Christmas sheen theme thingy uh, for this month and I really like how it turned out, the outline. But then you'll see me starting to watercolor this at one point and uh, it just kind of ruined it. But we can just appreciate my little doodling right here for the moment because I think it looks kind of cute, you know, with Santa and his reindeer. And then I did this kind of like cottage um, scenery with some Christmas trees. And then I did this uh, father and son and the sun is kind of pointing towards the sky like, look daddy, there's Santa. Um, yeah, I thought that was kind of cute. And then I wanted to add a quote to the left side. So obviously I just added a classic, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And uh, yeah, I thought that was too cute. And then I always forget how I lay out my calendar, the monthly calendar. So uh, I always check from previous months, even though it's the same every single month. But anyway, here I'm just filling in some squares and screwing up some of them. And I looked, oh, that was my microwave that beeped if you heard that. Anyway, uh, so I fill in the squares. Well, this, this month I decided to fill them in with the same color. I would have had like a different red as well, so I could have put like two different colors, but I thought that the unison red was gonna look pretty nice. And I checked from my phone how many, not how many days, but like what the layout for the month is. So from here, you can see from left to right, obviously the days from Monday to Friday, and no, Monday to Sunday, and I'm writing them there. I left out Tuesday because it wasn't gonna fit in with the December look. And now I'm just adding some cute stickers to give it some more, you know, life. And I'm trying to use away all the stickers that I have and so forth. And then I thought it looked a bit bland, so I decided to make these squares into packets. So I'm just adding small ribbons here and there to different sides of the days in a way so that they turn, turn out looking like packets as you see right over here. Now, once again, I had to check what the next spread was because I have dementia, but no. Uh, so next up, I'm doing the, the what I'm grateful for and the habit tracker spreads. So these are pretty consistent for every month. Actually, the habit tracker spread this month was inspired by none other than Amanda Rachel Lee, the queen of bullet journaling. So she did this kind of monthly layout with presents and I thought that was kind of cute. So I'm doing the same. Usually I do like the same layout as you saw my calendar, like the monthly overview, but it just as many calendars and then I just fill in the squares whenever I've filled in my habit. And for the, what I'm grateful for, I just put a numbering list of how many days there are in a month and then I fill it in, you know, every single day with what I was grateful for in that day. And here you see me fill in the habit trackers that I have. And once again, I had to check what the few last ones were. Uh, very actively have been filling these trackers in, you know, in case you were wondering since I remember them so clearly well. No, but uh, then I did some tree doodles to make this a little more festive. And now on to the mood tracker. This also stays pretty consistent every single month. I just switch up the color theme. But I do a gradient of four emojis, emoticons, whatever you want to call them, uh, going from, you know, extremely happy to crying my eyes out. And then I choose, you know, each corresponding mood according to the day. I have to brag and say that I've been pretty consistent in the extremely happy category. So uh, yay for me living my best life. 
And then I do the expenses tracker on the right side because I like to keep a track of my expenses even though I last week literally did the expenses for a whole month because the last time I checked my expenses were like in the beginning of November. So I was a bit late on that, but um, you know, trying to keep that habit up. And here we are starting the first weekly spread. I rotate between different spreads, but usually I like to do this layout so there there is Monday to Thursday on one side and then the weekend on the other side, or Friday to Sunday, plus a small to-do. Uh, if I have like stuff I want to write up, which I don't have planned for a specific day, but that I need to accomplish during that week, I put it there. And here I did a little star pattern, as you see, around, around the, you know, numbers to make it more festive. Okay, so this is my attempted fail in coloring in because I used partially a pen that was waterproof but then obviously the marker is not waterproof and I realized it now when I was coloring this in so for the right hand side it wasn't that bad but then obviously I forgot about it on the left hand side once I started coloring that in so you will see what a mess it's gonna become. Plus I didn't really like the color combinations in this and uh, I wanted to make the tree so that they have snow but I had no idea how to do that so now they're just green trees but hey it's climate change and there is no snow in most part of the world anyway so uh, here is a little sunset you can see the red coming through from the other side of the page but that's okay I feel like that also give it gives it more of a I don't know sunset vibe. So uh, yeah, here I'm trying to match the color theme on the other side, even though I wanted to make it red, but I thought, you know, maybe it's better to match it with the theme. And you can clearly see how ugly it is. But for the reveal, this is how I tried to fix it. And here is the final flip through. So I kind of really liked how the front page ended up looking like. Uh, you know from the chaos that it originally was so I think it looks kind of nice and I also really like the what I'm grateful for and habit tracker spread I feel like that was a very festive spread and here are the first two weeks that I made this one is the one that you saw me make in the video and then I just quickly made the next week as well uh, which I didn't really finish either but there you have it all right, that is it, you guys, for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. You know, as usual, comment down below if you guys have a bullet journal or not. This is actually my last month of having a bullet journal because I got <laughs> tired of never having enough time to plan out or like to do many bullet journal months at a time. And uh, I'm a busy girl, so I'm just gonna get a regular calendar for 2021, but it has like blank spaces, so. I can decorate it in the way that I want. Anyway, uh, subscribe for more quality content and I'll see you in my next video. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at yesterstore. If you want to follow me on TikTok, it's at jstories. And uh, I have a podcast called Up Modern Hotline. If you still didn't know, I literally be saying the same rent for the past, I don't know, 25 videos. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me here today. I hope that you have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.